Hey everyone, welcome to my show, A Taste with Tamara Lee. I am Tamara Lee. I am a 52 year old model, actress, and content creator, but I have a passion for cooking. I love to create recipes that are healthy, nutritious, easy to make, and won't break the bank. Are you ready? Let's go. And on today's episode, we are going to be doing a Tamara twist on the traditional chicken fried rice. And instead of using this white rice, we are going to be saving some calories and using cauliflower rice. Are you interested? Let's get cooking. Two eggs, one tablespoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, two medium carrots diced and peeled, two stalks of celery sliced, a quarter of a cup of green onions thinly sliced, one small onion diced, four cups of cauliflower rice, one tablespoon of garlic, three tablespoons of low sodium sauce, four chicken thighs cooked and diced, half a cup of frozen peas. And here we are ready to go to cook up this cauliflower chicken fried rice. One thing that I love about this recipe is it is so easy. The hardest thing that you're gonna have to do with this is chop up all of these amazing veggies ahead of time. One other thing that I did before was I did my chicken. So this is four chicken thighs and I have cut them up really nice and fine and then sauteed them in a little bit of sesame oil. So here we go. Are you ready? Dante, are you ready for this? All right, we're gonna turn our pan to medium heat and we are gonna put in a little bit of olive oil. Just about a half of a tablespoon. We're gonna let that heat up for a second. And you can do this ahead of time or you can do it right in the pan. I'm actually gonna do this ahead of time. We're gonna take our two eggs and we're gonna pop them in here and try not to get any shells in there. And take a fork and we are going to whisk these together while they are cooking. Another great thing about this recipe, it's a one pot meal. You're not gonna dirty up a whole pile of things. The prep time is really quick on this as is the cooking time. We're gonna get a little spatula here and we're gonna move that olive oil down in here. And we are just going to pour that egg in there. And we're gonna scramble fry this. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. I would just like to use a spatula and just move it around. Let it get a little bit warm on there and cook. And there we go. As it starts to set here, as the pan starts to heat up, it's starting to bubble nicely. Another thing that I love about this recipe is that it is so cost effective. When you take into consideration what takeout Chinese food is, this recipe hits the mark at being cost effective. And most of these ingredients, folks, you're going to have in your home already. Get this all together. I like to stir my egg when I'm scrambling it. We don't want to. Why is that? Um, because we don't want to have it like an omelet. I want to have like really nice curdles of the egg. And you can see the pan starting to heat up now. This only takes a couple of minutes. So we're just moving our eggs side to side and side to side. And you can see it's starting to come together here. We're going to turn that heat down just ever so slightly. You want to cook this at about medium heat. Scrambled eggs are not just for breakfast. A good staple in this Chinese food takeout that we are doing at home. Super easy, packed full of nutrients. This is also a great recipe that you can cook ahead of time and just heat up every single night. My family loves it, I know yours will too. Let that cook again for a second and we're gonna get a bowl to put our egg in. Because once this is cooked, we are going to be moving it to the side. Okay. 
There we go. And you don't want to have it too hard. So this is what we would call soft scrambled. So for me, this is ready to go. And we're going to put this in here. And we're going to move this to the side here. Not too far away, so I don't forget to put it back in. And in the same pot, we are going to be adding a tiny little bit more of olive oil. We're going to put that in there. We're going to increase the heat a little bit to kind of medium high. And now we're going to add all of those amazing vegetables. So we're going to start with our onion. Pour that in there. And then we are going to add the celery. And then we're going to add our carrots in there. Mix them together. Get that all mixed up here. And then we're going to add the frozen peas. Now you can use canned peas if you would like to as well, but just make sure you drain them really well. And I always recommend that you rinse the vegetables off if you're going to use canned vegetables. And the reason being for that, of course, we know that canned vegetables are packed full of sodium. So we want to take away as much of that sodium as we possibly can. Look at the beautiful colors of that coming together. And we are going to have this cooking for about three to five minutes, just until those onions become translucent and the vegetables start to soften up. We don't want to cook them all the way through because we want to have those carrots and that celery to have a little bit of crispness to it. And for reference, this is the, the great size if you are using baby carrots to cut up so that they're going to stay crisp, but also cook well. This smells delicious already. Does it? And there's not even any seasonings in there yet. Oh, so good. Dante, do you like Chinese food? Do you like chicken fried rice? I love Chinese food. I love chicken fried rice. All right. <laughs> I was just, that was going to be my next question. I can't wait. Get this going here. And like I said, you're going to cook this for about three to five minutes. You don't have to constantly stir it, but you want to give it a little bit of a move around about every 30 seconds to a minute so you don't get any burning on the bottom. We've got a little bit of moisture from the frozen peas that are softening up here. Putting it all together. And you also have the little bits of the egg in there because although we did put it to the side, we still actually have some of those egg bits on here. So you wanna make sure that you're getting nice down onto the bottom of that pan. And of course, in Tamara's kitchen, it's never clean. We're always tossing things to the side and that's the beauty. This is softening up beautifully. And folks, you can actually modify this recipe too um, for any vegetables that you enjoy in here. You can put some bean sprouts in here. You can put corn in there if you wanted to. You can take out the peas if you don't like it. So it's a very flexible. Very, very, very flexible and very versatile. All right, and that is ready to go here. And now we're just gonna push those vegetables to the side of our pan. And we're going to add this cauliflower rice. So this is about four cups of cauliflower rice. And we are just going to pour that right in. So you're going to want to make sure that you have a decent sized skillet like I do here. So it's going to cook evenly. Now, one great thing about this recipe too that I absolutely love is how low it is in calories. Cauliflower rice has 25 calories per serving as opposed to 180 for the white rice. And I guarantee you, when you put this all together and add our sauce in there, you're not even going to know the difference. It is fantastic. Cauliflower does not have a whole lot of taste to it, so it adapts whatever flavors that you put into it. And of course, this is frozen. Does not take long to cook at all. It's only going to take about two to three minutes for us to, for this to soften up. 
Dante, have you ever tried Chinese food with cauliflower rice in it before? I have not. All right. So you're in for a treat. I'm excited. I can't wait. Really... Also, the carbohydrate factor, if you are watching that, um, cauliflower rice only has four grams of carbs per serving and white rice has 38. So it is a big savings. Yeah, coming together nicely here. And while that's cooking there, we're going to add our garlic. Now you can use fresh garlic or you can use what uh, Tamara's favorite condiment is right here is this jarred garlic here. And again, I always like to measure with love and I love garlic. So we're going to add about a tablespoon of this. Alternately, you can use fresh garlic if you'd like, and you can just chop it and dice it and use about one tablespoon of that. Now we're going to incorporate this all together, the vegetables along with the rice. And again, we're cooking this at medium high heat. And we are moving it around so we don't get any burning on the bottom. That is definitely coming together nicely. And now we are going to add in our chicken. That diced chicken in there that has been also cooked in a tiny little bit of sesame oil just to give it a little bit more flavor. We're gonna toss that around. This truly is a one pot meal and this heats, reheats wonderfully. That together. Heat this in an air fryer, in the oven, stove top. You can do this either right here um, uh, with a pot like this with just a pan or you can just heat it up in the microwave. I have been known to eat this cold out of the refrigerator as well. And next we're going to add this egg. And as you can see, it has just solidified a little bit. So I'm just mixing that up here and we're going to throw that back in. And it's going to cook a little bit slightly in here. And that is why I did not want to make it a hard scrambled egg. That is all mixed in nicely. And now we are just going to turn the heat off, but we are going to leave the pan on the stove and let's add some seasonings. So we are gonna add some low sodium soy sauce and we're gonna use about two tablespoons of this. And I'm actually gonna take the lid off of that because I have this much easier. Hardest part is getting the cap off. Mm -hmm. So one tablespoon of that, two tablespoons. This is a fairly big dish, so we're gonna use three. And put that in together. And then we're going to take our sesame oil. Sesame oil has a very pungent taste. You don't need a lot of it. So we are going to use just about a teaspoon of that. Put that in here. And we're going to mix this all together. Oh, this is smelling so delicious, folks. Definitely is. We want to make sure that we get all of that soy sauce and the sesame oil all mixed in nicely. You can see that egg is incorporated. And then last but not least, we are going to put in our green onions. And we're ready to go. Look how beautiful this looks. And you know what time it is now, Dante? Tamara's favorite time. Are you ready to go? Let's plate this up and let's give this a taste. We are ready for Tamara's favorite part of the show. It is the taste test. So I got a little plate together here of this cauliflower chicken fried rice. How delicious that looks. And da 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 da, da. Got to get a little bit of everything in here. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That is definitely a winner. The vegetables are perfectly <clears throat> tender crisp. The chicken thighs are nice and juicy. Nice flavor with the sesame oil and that, oh, excuse me, and that soy sauce. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. And it smells good too. Folks are going to want to try this one for sure. Mm, 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 mm. 
Well, that is it for another episode of A Taste with Tamara Lee. I really hope that you have enjoyed yourselves today, folks. I've enjoyed being here with you all. And if you are enjoying me and my content and my show, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And until next time, stay blessed, everyone. Catch you on the flip side.